So I'm really excited to be here to talk about some recent work that we've been thinking about in my research group at UPenn on how a robot should represent the information in its sensors to be able to perform various tasks. And to motivate that, uh, let me start by describing what typically happens in the control loop of a robot. Right? So you can think of a robot as being something like an autonomous car, uh, which is constantly making decisions about how to act in the world. And these decisions could inform, for example, how it steers its wheel right, to move about the world. And once it's done that, the world evolves, or the robot itself moves around in the world, uh, so that it then needs to gather information through an observation, such as by taking pictures from its camera. And these observations might give it information about what the state of the road in front of it is, at which point this information needs to be condensed into something like a representation. We normally think of representations as being matrices or vectors of some sort that can then inform future decisions for what this robot should do. And this robot needn't be an autonomous car. It could be a humanoid robot. It could be a robot arm. And it could be making decisions instead of steering about how to run or about how to grasp objects. And these observations could instead be observations of a pile of laundry or of a kitchen countertop uh, if the robot were a different one, right? So the question we'll be tackling today is this mysterious representation, which I alluded to just a few seconds ago. What exactly is this representation? What should it look like for different robotic tasks? So how should the robot take this raw visual observation, such as pictures of the road or of the pile of laundry or of the kitchen countertop, and then condense that into some kind of vector representation that can then inform future decision making? 